Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. One of my favorite quotes from the Spider-Man movie back in 2002. Welcome to your cinematic world of movies, your cinematic world of wonders. My name is Focus, the Batman. I'm the Maui No Name. Oh. Ah. Is it going to do you? <laughs> and I'm the big one on your radio. Okay, thank you for joining us this sweet evening. All right, without wasting any time at all, let's jump straight into all the movies and TV shows that dropped this week. Okay, starting off with Jason Statham coming back to, you know, kick some buttocks. Jason Statham stars as the beekeeper in this movie. Titled Beekeeper. Yeah, it's the beekeeper. <laughs> so it, it's it's something I think based on the trailer and uh, uh, how how the movie was designed is something you've seen before about an ex ex military guy, you know, who wants doing, to live a quiet life. Wants to live a quiet life, and then and then maybe the 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 person that he looks after gets killed. Oh no, she gets scammed. Based on the trailer, she gets scammed all her life savings, and then she. Because of that, went into a heart attack and died. And then just stayed time, just got up and went to, started, you know, finding started all the people. For the African all prince. He's <laughs> <laughs> not African prince. Uh, okay. Yes. So the beekeeper dropped this week. Um, the book of Clarence, the second movie from The Bullets, uh, the guy who uh, um, who made, uh, I keep forgetting. Don't name. give me her, boo. I don't know him too. Ah, <laughs> this movie that starred like his Stanfield, that he was a bad guy. In it, a cowboy was a western with Regina King in it. Uh, they had a fall, exactly. So uh, he's the one. Yeah, so he's doing. Uh, so, and I've not watched this. So he did another movie called The Book of Clarence. It's supposed to be about this guy who saw the miracle of Jesus. Like back in, I saw yeah. the trailer. I was like, I'm gonna see. <laughs> so it. I haven't seen out. the trailer yet. Yeah, it's out on it's in out. cinemas. It's out in cinemas. Yeah. So what he hit us up on on Instagram asking, and uh, when we're we going to see it. Um, knowing how far um, <laughs> the movie tickets <laughs> movie tickets are right now, we don't we haven't made up our but, minds yet. But if the person decides that they want to take us to go see, you know, we are, we are free. Right. It's not like we are doing anything with our life. Exactly, you, know? you understand. So, mm-hmm. yeah. just got married and we need some. No, the moon. Escape. We have come back. Sun has come out. <laughs> some escape from the honeymoon. <laughs> Twenty years after the original drop back in two thousand and four, Tina Fey writes another Mean Girl movie, and this one is Mean Girl the musical. Even though they took out the musical, so now there is a rift going on on social and um, social media wait is it about lion and tiger no 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 no, no it's not that one mean no no oh, okay uh-huh. so 75 percent of audience reportedly said they knew mean girls was a musical before buying a ticket while 16 percent left the theater disappointed by the genre so 16 with 16 percent <laughs> did not know Kina to like mean girls <laughs> that is a musical that that's a shocking something i you know. always again have an issue with movies that have sequels that come out decades after I have an issue with it. Well, I don't see myself going to the cinema saying I want to see a Mean Girls movie. Shall because I mean, Mean Girls was a uh, cl- cult classic when it dropped, and uh, it 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 spanned, it entered pop culture and had this this reference to a uh, make fetch happen. The Regin- um, what that had. Her name. And all the actors in that movie went on to be, you know, big Super stars in their stars, names. Yeah. Yes, from Richard Mark Adams, Amanda Seyfried. Imagine somebody trying to release a hang- imagine somebody trying to release a Hangover Four in 2039. Yeah, mm. I mean, they can still have some Hangover story, but <laughs> you know, no, with people the same drink. set of people. No, 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 no. no you That's will not my point exactly. Only, only if work. you have a good story, though. But We're talking about good stories. We are seeing El Sami, another married man who is saying how far. Sami. Mm-hmm. Sami. Yeah. I didn't know Sami was married. You didn't know? I didn't know. Are, are you heard, serious? I'm telling you from Sami in almost three years. Uh, are you serious? Yes. Wow. It's that bad. I attended his wedding shower at the MC. Anyways, <laughs> um, Osh, oh, Osh is saying well, his was? greeting is excited um, about being part of the show. So shout out to you, Osh. All these messages, I'm reading them live off the bat of um, Instagram. I just want to throw this guy under the bus. Please yeah, throw yeah. yourself that here. Who was your MC? Mm-hmm. Well, um, Daniel, the big one, <laughs> who was your AKA best man? Sambasa. Who was your uh, best man? Was, is it Sambisa that they call you? Sambisa, who's your best man? My well, my best man is sitting right next to me. I forgot any of them. Don't mind, don't mind. This okay, picture. shout out to all the best men and the MC <laughs> that decide to be canopies in other people's wedding. Shout out to you guys. Now, now, ten wedding pass. <laughs> A movie that dropped on Netflix starring Kevin Hart called Lift. I just started. I'm thinking I'm in 16 minutes into the movie. And okay, I'm just like, okay, it's about this smart thief who has a high screw and all that. I was like, okay, I will continue when I when I get back. Welcome, Chinat. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We so just talked about Mean Girls, the musical. The musical, yeah. What for? Because you like musical. No, I don't like the idea of musical. Are you saw Mean Girls being a musical? Yes. Shakere, 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 He's the 60 percent that walks out of the cinema. Shakere, shakere. 
Check her <laughs> <in> 60%. Proud <laughs> Proud of you, sir. We are proud of you. Good, that sir. Two of your favorite. Two. two Don't say that. A movie that has two of your favorite genres put mixed together. together. And you said no. So what, are these, said what no. are these genres? Like, musical, musical, and musical and chick flick. <laughs> <laughs> How will you just enter the studio and collect BB? So anyway, okay. Shah Osh is still here on WhatsApp and he's saying he's greeting us live on the show. And we are seeing, okay, good evening. Uh, Victor from Kuba. I just I watched old movies, um, Legend of the Seeker, and I enjoyed the role of Clara. Clara, the most moti. Everybody loved the moti now. In who didn't love the moti? The, those girls on red. Yes. On oh the, God, with their long braids. Oh, oh God. actually, didn't watch the series. A message here says. Series, not a movie though. If I from Kuja said, please, MC Blue, to the, any news about Fire Force? Here we go. Story okay, so yeah. Um, everybody's shouting that they want a new Fire Force. Just in case you don't know, Fire Force is an anime. No, I and know. Yeah, um, Fire Force is one of those animes that you would enjoy if you watch. But yeah, we are also still waiting on news on that. But the good news is that this year, 2024, ha has to be the biggest year in anime. Like all the late, all the new ones. It's always are a out. big year. You said it's that always last year. You said that year before last year. Yeah, you said this is a big year. It's always bigger. 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 <laughs> you will not understand. It's start. getting bigger every day. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh on Amazon Prime, it's role play. Da uh, David Oyelowo with Kelly Koko comes in this reverse part of a movie where uh, the wife is an assassin and he is a stay at home yes. guy. We just found it. You've seen it. I saw I'm, the not seen, I'm not seeing it yet, but it's something I want to see. I haven't seen the trailer. It dropped this week. It's called role play. Then uh, uh, we have self reliance. This, this, okay, self reliance is. Uh, Jake Johnson, the guy who voiced Spider-Man, mm. Spider-Man in Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse and was in Horrible Bosses, another movie, directed his first movie called Self-Reliance. Oh, nice. And uh, it's about the premise. I can't remember the premise. The premise is about uh, Andy Samberg. The Andy Samberg, as the Andy Samberg comes to him and says, I need you to play a game. Uh, people will be trying to kill you. If you are with anybody, if you are with a person, nobody will kill you. Mm. But if you are alone, you will you get die. killed. Wow. But when I went to his family house, he probably can say, why they go? <laughs> we don't need, that's based on the trailer. So I want to see how what it will be like. So okay. Anna Kendrick also stars in the movie. So Okay, so talking about people talking about what we are talking about. Well, oh all she's saying, um, <laughs> please, Hollywood should calm down on all these remakes. Um, listen, everyone needs to watch... Mean girl. Everyone needs to watch a Devious, Devious Housemaids, Housemaids again. Okay, so it's, it's such a classic such a series. Classic. Okay, and, Spence. and why he says that El Sami says solo leveling is out. And just so you know, El Sami was the one who introduced me to solo leveling, talking about the Korean manhwa that is now made into the anime. Fantastic stuff. Two episodes mm. out is really awesome. Okay, talking about episodes right now, Ted, who remember Ted back in 2012 and yeah, 2015? Very anointed. Uh, uh, they, a prequel, there's a series, a prequel series for it right now that oh. dropped last week. But and so far, some people are saying it's actually not bad. If you what, enjoy what's the, the prequel Ted, series called? If you, Ted, it's called Ted. It's on Peacock. But the thing is, mm. it's, a, it's like a teddy bear, right? A mm. talking te teddy bear. Yes. What, what do you want prequel for there? Well, he the grew rich there. <laughs> no, make, no, make, no, make, um, no, you know, well, you know, based on the movie based on the movie he had a very sharp beginning of how he made a wish and instead he came to life yeah. and then he just speed through yeah growing up. growing up so now they are telling him going to you know primary school secondary school how he oh. got teddy bear. puberty and with the teddy bear that's okay I'll because like don't forget that. that when he grew up like he was a sensation everybody knew him with his teddy bear yeah. already so yeah let's try and see a life with him and People getting accustomed so to the teddy just, bear. Just to throw this question in, what would you prefer to see Teddy or rather toys as in movies? As Ted's or as Chucky's? I'm as Ted's or <laughs> please as Chucky's, please. As, as Ted or as Chucky's. Guys are having yes. this conversation and yeah, you are criticizing cats, but let's just move please, on. We said <laughs> we're taking on sign cats now. We I'm all all is, all. Human being <laughs> became a cat and you guys refuse to enjoy it. So I don't That's know. That's why we shall go for I think we should throw that question out. Would you prefer toys that come to life in cartoons to be as Ted's? That's like Comedy or comedy be best, naughty vulgar. You'll be your best wingman. If you just like almost or come out as chuckies like, that are all right. Like, but if you can't complain about something. cracking and you but know, if you can't complain about your boss being being mean, Ted will just will just by himself just go help you in such. Truth is, as chucky, just a very small. Just know that your um, knife is not safe. Yes, and then some persons who do not like horror would not see, but Ted, almost everybody enjoyed Ted. Yeah. Yes. In case you, you okay, you've watched Basket Case, right? Mm. 
Nope, no. No. But you've heard about it. I've heard about it. Just watch basket. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there, ba, so that it can mix in the conversation for those who have seen it. An anime. Understand. No, it's not okay, an anime. Okay, guys, then you can go and watch it. <laughs> it's not an anime. I said then they can go and watch it. You are a problem to this life. <laughs> what was a talk about on Twitter Street uh, featuring the man with no name also uh, dropped this week? Monarch Legacy of Monsters episode hey, 10. Hey, I'm here hey, to man. start the show. See, yet, uh, I don't know whether that's the last episode. Mm-hmm, in the, in the mm-hmm, that's the last. It's 10 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Guy, 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 guy. I'm is it a documentary? See, yeah, no. Or... See, it's guy. It's in our words. It's not good. See, this is what, uh, Why guy. you count your own? Just guy. Guy. <laughs> guy. So what is Monarch? Is it a documentary? Monarch, no. Monarch is the is the is the organization that handles all the mutos, the, all the uh, mutos, massive, the, massive unidentified. Yeah, uh, the Godzilla, the Godzillas, the, the others, Kongs. Yeah. The yes. So Voltrons. imagine a series trying to like give an expose of how Monarch came to be, how they found out about Godzilla, what attacks had happened, what exactly was with the organization. And what's that whole world of, oh, people are on, um, the monsters are under the earth or inside the earth. Like, so that just gave like a full expose on and Monarch Legacy of Monsters, although it starts out slow, bah, but mm. the build dog. Now, now, excuse me, there everything. <laughs> See, you know, the build dog. Has anybody said? seen? Us? Has anybody seen Godzilla Ground Zero? Uh, minus not Zero. Yet, oh, I have, yeah, we haven't yeah, seen no, it. Not so yet. I, I, I've not seen it yet, but the reviews are getting me really excited. Yes. Because for a movie that good, you know how much they say they use in making the movie, right? Yes. Yeah. Like small. I think it was 40, 15, million 15 million. Dollars. Yeah, 15 million and here's dollars. Here's the funny thing. The maker of the movie came out and said, that's a lie. Gen, gen. It was lower than that. Lower than that. You are joking. Yeah. And the movie has already grossed over 100 million already. Uh, 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 and it uh, uh, is said that that is the best iteration of Godzilla of God ever. ever. What a funky akin they <laughs> <laughs> Well, still talking about messages dropping in. If you look and says, I have um, seen role play and it's quite good. good. But it's kind of like a remake of a movie I can't remember right now. That's that what I'm one. saying. There's a lot, the, a lot the, of movies like so that. There's something you call tropes. Yes. Right? It's, it's yeah. like standard that you follow oh if this and this is this then that and that must occur well for most people that's why you feel like you've seen it a thousand yes. times before yeah mm-hmm. and he continues to say i have started watching the brother's son uh, that's on netflix the brother's son and i hope it's good and uh, make i know it's my time or oh, it's time is precious uh, <laughs> and then um, el sami says nah ted, ted will, will be, be boring, boring. Hmm. Well, watch it well, first to know. Depends on the number of episodes, though. I mean, if it's I don't just, think it's, no, it's not about like six or how many. Or. If it's six, then I think it's going to be No, fun. six, two can still be dry. Yeah, it can, it can still be boring. Yeah. So is it boring? You I mean, started. I mean, talking about boring, Funke Akindele's uh, she who she must be obeyed these five episodes and, and it's it boring. boring. Oh, it was series? Yes. yes. <laughs> One hour per episode. And it was boring. It, okay. Yeah, it wasn't funny. Okay, She's our it. guy, but we tell her it was yeah. dry. Yeah, okay. Okay, and uh, finally we have Richard, uh, season two, episode seven dropped uh, this week, and the and reviews for Richard is oh, 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 out oh, oh, of this I, I, world. See, uh, uh, see, okay, well, let me not shout. No, uh, because uh, my because screaming their heads off, like people are so happy that action is back. Okay, so I'm really pissed at all the network providers in Nigeria yeah, yeah. because they really did us <laughs> strong thing this last week. But, oh, no, but I, I still found time to watch all the like Harry every, Potters. Yeah, I've downloaded that too. So like, like I'm doing like a binge watch again, and yeah. we are in Chambers of Secret right now. Wow! So, like, congrats. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> go, go punish you. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, they did us strong, but I was still able to like accomplish a lot by watching some of these series like Monarch and and um, yeah. And yeah, Richard. and also I'm still watching uh, was um, Lightning Thief. Oh, Pres- Pres- I've not started. I've not started. Yeah, and, and that is I've actually done, quite good. I think it's I've good. done yes. one episode. I've not started at all. I've not done the. How do you guys just watch one episode and you just move on? Ah, no, you. We have to. We move on now. No, it's you like, wait. It's not wait, wait, you don't wait. You now sit and then you watch it. It's like Richard. Now. It's like Richard. I'm following Richard episode by episode. I don't want to hear. Yeah, that's making me laugh. This is like this guy wants to tell me to wait, wait. for the boys eh, to finish. So that someone yes, not come and tell I me that they stab yes. butcher in the eye when I know I don't get Do to experience it first. Is? Why you open it? No, yeah, when, not when, when, when ordinary Gen V, we follow this episode <laughs> back for back. episode. Oh, that even reminds me. Yeah. You remember Lotachuku? That's the Nigerian, yes. the Nollywood actress. actress yeah. yeah, you know now she's into producing and okay. making movies. So she's actually a very very big anime fan. And recently she tweeted concerning One Piece. So mm. she opened Netflix and just found out that One Piece episode. 1089 is on Netflix, and she went bonkers. She was like, Why is 1089 being 
the, the, why is it on Netflix? Meanwhile, she hasn't even started the series. So she mistakenly went to go and press play. <laughs> and they didn't, they didn't stop it. Problem. Now she now has to go and start from episode one. Why? It don't be. To go and start understanding what the grad line is. Oh my God. And that's... then the East Blue and the West Blue and the rest of them. You don't have things to do? Are you that it's, low? Did, 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 did you just get like, something now? He just talked about the grand grand line, East Blue and West Blue. My brother, thank you. You're you, are, you are keeping up with it. Do you see, we didn't pick it. Like, no, no, you need to understand. This it? man gave me 400 episodes. I stopped at episode 72. At least I know something, don't worry. What's wrong with you? You tried. Stopped at episode where I reached me and your wife that time. <laughs> no, you didn't start. <laughs> you didn't start One Piece. Oh, no, okay, no One Piece. Oh, One Piece. I actually enjoyed the live action. That's we had the live that action, yes. yes. The live yeah. action was one of the highlights of 2023, actually. Yeah, yeah it was actually very Especially fast. because people thought that Netflix were going to mess it up like they, they messed up in Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never pressed play on that. As I saw the reviews, I just knew no need. And Death Note. Moving on. Moving on. Echo, Marvel's Echo dropped last week. Not dropped this week. I've just put it like that. Been. And, and they've been they've been slapping it back and forth. And, and funny thing, I started pounded. the first episode and it's already is giving it's giving it's giving weak weak uh, motivation. Right. right. Like I don't know if anybody has seen the first episode. I haven't seen. Uh, the let first me just episode. say spoil it. The first episode, but the this, the Echo Girl, small girl. Uh, it's raining outside and uh, she went to meet her mom with her cousin. Um, she would like to take Susan and Sue something like. Cool, you know? a, a, Let's say yes, no. yeah. and then mom, mom now said, "Oh, we are out." So the next thing, just, the mom just said, "Come, let me come. Let's let's go and get in the store when it's raining, like raining heavily. Mm -hmm. Only for them to now enter, you know, in, they they drive. Then car just can't jam them. Mom, she died straight away, and and she she lost a leg. That's how she lost the one leg. One, the one leg, and then she started beating herself up that it was her fault, and it's was like, "No, it's not. I didn't mean." You said no. I we must go, and then mom says like no. Now you know it's rainy, and then you because you use then your you small hand, uh, then they then. Then will not understand. So it just felt oh, you don't finish. Where mom we go, <laughs> you don't die now. You really <laughs> do not know about guilt that comes that after death. <laughs> you really do not. You really don't know about what? About, what? about guilt. some some kind of guilt that comes after death. Sometimes you're not even I'm, there, and you start no, connecting dots, and be like, "I'm not saying, I'm not saying." Of course, she should. Or my friend, it should, be, it should up. be written. It should be written with a more compelling motivation, so that even you two, you be like, "Ah, okay." It's like the brother's son. There's something that happened in the brother's son. <laughs> how can you? How can they be saying? Protect your brother. Protect your brother. You know, they've been saying protect your brother and you are going into an organization that has your enemy, your arch enemy. And, and you, you carry your back. brother. No, you left the brother in the back. So they just, they just kidnap him. Like, it was just too easy. So like, now that you have now, said this now, what, what do you expect me to do that you still watching? You go the watch and see. I just want... Just <laughs> one clip from one, one scene and I tell you... Now and I don't spoil it for you. Hey. Your mate have watched an entire 1,089 episode <laughs> and they're still going to start from you. Hi. Come on, my friend, go and watch this. Come watch it. If you see what they do for, for small... Uh, 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 this is what they give him. Spoil the whole film. <laughs> Watch out, watch out. Those are the mm -hmm. things that dropped mm -hmm. uh, this mm -hmm. week. So let's quickly check out the ones that dropped last week. And we have uh, Night Swim, the Bloomhouse and James Wan movie called, horror movie called Night Swim. And then we still have The Brother's Son, which is out on Netflix. Yeah, then Richard, episode two, episode six of season two. Yeah, dropped last Monarch, week. Monarch, uh, Legacy of Monsters, the final episode has dropped also. So, so yeah. those are the things that dropped. Hmm. In the anime week. world, solo leveling episode two. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> it was really good, right? Really. You were complaining about this movie. The Zack Snyder Star Wars wannabe. Uh, uh, Red Moon. Moon. Well, he said oh, the he said the R my God. he said the R rated version it, is coming out soon. I'm a Zack Snyder fan, but but I know he, he can't keep getting away with all those stuff. Stop this it. is Netflix. Netflix is not is not the studios that will say uh, no. We need no, your yes. Justice League to be two hours when you shot a four hours movie. You get this they one is Netflix. You can, you, can, you can do what you want to do, and they are telling us there is an R rated uh, director's cut. What's he, you just, should, just give well, us the director's cut stunt worked for him for BVS. Um, yes, um, yes, yes. Yes. That, BVS and, and, and Justice, uh, Justice, Justice League. League. But that was for Warner Bros. who were, who were like, like streamlining your streamlining what We have to wait four years because we want to watch Rebel Moon that was pretty much a a, a spin-off, no, not a spin-off, a rip-off of Star Wars, uh, The Force Awakens. Uh, well, in his, in his, 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 his motivation, I'll be will I say in his motivation he said, or in he, his defense. He, he, went to look, he went to Lucas film to say he wanted to make a Star Wars I film. Know. And they said, no, we don't want. He now decided to come and do the movie himself and he just... He just simply told the Star Wars story again with different names. Is that the did Star you, Wars did story? You, did you see the honest trailer? 
Oh, he didn't see the national team. No, he's just, he's just, he's just, copy and paste. Copy and paste. God, and it was just. Boring. So he did not copy and paste. Well, maybe somebody boring. mistakenly went to go and press Ctrl V in some part. It was just <laughs> boring. Aye. Aye. And then I, that guy is supposed to be boring. powerful. Was How come your anyway? your weapon is a stick? You're hitting people <laughs> like you don't get knife, you don't get sword, you don't get anything. <laughs> now, now, cast off a stick. You can't do what can't. No, no. Nah. Did you see the head of that stick? Yes, nah, I but know that condo is big now. That condo is big. Condo now. Condo is big. <laughs> it's a risk. And don't break. forget, everybody, the way the way you are hit with the stick, you are hit <laughs> in a way that you are incapacitated. So they like saying that two soldiers come to us. No, not die. Did they die? Anyway, he's there. No, not did they die? You they go straight into into concussion. Coma, concussion. Concussion. So you know they know what they happen next. That, that's the thing. I've noticed that it's easier. It's harder when you hit. Let me not say blacks. <laughs> Niger people. Then they pass out easily. You do that thing. Put the video first, stand up. Put these white people. Just talking out, my God. Just die. <laughs> no, not be everybody will die immediately. Yeah. Because it continues. <laughs> oh, my, if you look that first, that's their village chief. Oh, my. You know, just like, bah. No, no, that's because he didn't die immediately. He let me, they they know, let, let me ask him a question. Let me ask him a question. David and Goliath, how many stone? One stone. One stone. And you dude, that was a sex? supernatural. Um, no, it's not a supernatural. Wait, nah. no, <laughs> I'll never forget that. Say, say, nobody's asking the question, what would have happened if that stone had missed? <laughs> <laughs> Well, my God is there. He can't, he can't miss. He can't miss. He can't miss. <laughs> Never. <laughs> David, no grief anybody. For what? For what? Okay, talking about joining right now, let's spill over into cinematic news to see all the juicy things that you want to hear. Big news and entertainment this week. Big, 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 big news. Starting off with Nollywood. As uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu mm. has approved yes, oh. the artist and the artist has been calmed down. Una, uh, I want to say, I'm waiting for they would send this news. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, even your former senator about the movie. So has, the the, the, the president movie. has approved the appointment of Ali Nuhu as managing yeah. director of Nigerian Film Corporation. Yeah. I was happy so, when yeah. I saw that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this appointment means that Ali Nuhu will serve as managing director of the Nigerian Film Corporation under the Federal Ministry of Federal of art and culture, culture yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, and creative economy. So, I mean, yeah. this guy has a career that spanned over two decades. Two decades, yeah. And, I mean, it's impressive for a man like him. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. No, no, the guy has been acting movies for a very long time. Oh, Minus yes, that is a, is a musician, too. Yes, yes. that year. Can you would make songs? No, no, Minus can you would songs. Picture, like, he has there's released a picture, movies. There's a picture, yeah, music, there's a picture of Alino that I will never forget in this life. So, uh, he, he was in London. Okay. And he took there was this picture he took that he posed with a a lamp, a street a street lamp, and then he posed. There was it was like he, he held the lamp and there was like, a girly pose, and that's what he said. <laughs> you can't take you can't take the boy out of the house, Allah. We cannot can't take, take the house out of the boy. <laughs> oh my God! No, that was below the belt. No, it's not below the it's belt. Not it's not actually, it's actually below. under the agbada. Oh my God! <laughs> Next, we have Indani TV has confirmed the official release date for the seventh season of their beloved web series Skinny Girl in Transit and it's coming January 26 with all original cast members. Okay. Yes. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And Seth MacFarlane said he has never really considered making Ted 3 and that's the reason why he just Kukuma do Ted series. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you watch Daredevil, the Netflix Daredevil, right? Actually, I... But I haven't started it. <laughs> okay, you have it, but you've not started yes. it. Yes. Yeah, so that means you don't know who, who Foggy Nelson and um, uh, what's that? Car um, well, Foggy, what's, what's, what's the, the, we are talking about... Uh, no, no, no. You know, they're making... Uh, since it's under Marvel MCU. now, they're yeah. making Daredevil Born Again with okay. Charlie Cox back with Vincent D'Onofrio in it. And so now they're bringing back his They're bringing back his uh, Eldon Henson and Deborah Ann Woe as Foggy and Karen. So basically his his girlfriend his, and his friend. I'm not excited. It's, it's Marvel making it. I'm not excited. Ha! No, me, me I'm yeah, excited. Somehow, wait, so somehow, so how far? So I'm excited no that they're bringing back the old cast. It was not bad. Wait, no, no, wait. You see the grittiness that came That's it been on Netflix. You know, Marvel is your quote-unquote family-friendly no, 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 no. <laughs> so they want to dumb it down. Believe me, they want to put it into the uh, multiverse uh, saga. The whole the message that they are trying to spread with. The, let's just let's it's, just it's, and 
let's just hope let's just hope it turns out to be good because you know they they, they cancelled everything and they were yeah. already in pre-production and they cancelled everything and brought new writers to write it again because it said that Daredevil didn't appear in costume until episode four. four. So they were just so talking like it was just it was just two. more procedural, no lawyer. Yes. Yes. And they said no, we know. So we know what what they, your so cancel everything. I'm so glad that if this is what has been done, I'm so glad. Look at Blade. Why have you not seen Blade up to yes, now? Yeah. Yeah. Blade was the fourth leading character in his in own show movie. Do you understand? The top three people were people that nobody even knows or cares about. Look at what they did to She-Hulk. She-Hulk, everybody looked forward to She-Hulk. She-Hulk was the first Marvel character to break the fourth wall, even before Daredevil. She-Hulk was a fan favorite. You know how and they then brought that to you know a bunch of people <laughs> who lived in Beverly Hills who don't understand the price of Gary. They want to spread their own message based on, oh, we're the hot chicks. We don't need men, blah, blah, blah. Mm. How does the story of She-Hulk merge with an overarching story of a secret invasion or a Kang dynasty? How does it blend? At well, they, they, they went to go and Femi Mimi Femi Mimi 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 Well, talking about messages. I'm trying to use the film to tell you that, oh, yeah, a troll. And uh, it failed woefully. Yeah. Actually. Actually, it did fail. Anyways, messages here. Um, hey, um, this is easy here. Solo leveling episode two was epic. I have finished the manual and seeing the second episode was epic. I enjoyed the theme song and the status played. Um, say concerning David and his stones, uh, you guys should check out videos of people using slingshots online. online. The stones travel at the speed of sound. Yep. It's if that stuff hits you on the head, you, you are, are dead. dead. Gone. <laughs> so. Imagine are you like trying that. to remove God in all of this? <laughs> Wait, you're just talking about the physics of <laughs> the it. The physics of it, whether you like it or not. So if you see that kind of condo that that guy was using in Red Bull, there is a crash your head. Wait, let's, let's, even just, let's just try this out, but I'll stone you my slippers. Like, try Dodger. No, no, tear and slap first. <laughs> no, not slippers. Me, Terra try slap. Dodger. No, you are not be condo. You are not flesh. Oh, these slippers don't the way to stone person. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. says he had some of the greatest acting work playing Iron Man, but believes he went unnoticed because yes. of the genre. I personally believe that. You see how all those his drunk stunts that he did in Iron Man 2. Was it Iron Man 2? Yes, Iron Man 2. The, the see, yeah, in the bottle, I, so. it was very believable. Like, I saw a drunk person on screen. I didn't see, like, a, an Iron Man. But the thing is, with all the action tropes, bah, you fail to see the... You fail to see the work the, the actors put in. Well, let me put it this way. I beg to differ with Robert Downey. Robert Downey's presence as Tony Stark, not even as Iron Man, as Tony Stark yeah. carried an entire franchise Thank for you. 10 years. Thank you. I, no, I, so I, you're I not begging to differ. You're following him then. Yeah. He may feel, I'm telling you, he may think that uh, the whole action and everything covered it, but everybody loved seeing Tony, Tony Stark. Yes. yes. So that no, means the guy acting live. His team did he not just, work. He's he just saying he, did not he, went, work for he went unnoticed. No, of course, not to the he fans. He didn't go unnoticed too. Not, no, not to the fans. The fans kept quoting. But like, like to the oh, academy. Oh, Nobody ever nominated him for best actor. If you Endgame, Endgame, when they brought them back, leave the Academy. Another, Nobody looks him, like them. Him, him is talking about you know how other like like all the the academies the award this and the critics and all that they didn't really see it went on notes like I can ah oh more this guy finished work for this that artist because but for the, the fans they're like oh. the academy people are just a bunch of God knows what uh -huh. because the things they come and tell you are the films of the year yeah, like thank you what's it, wait, what's it be this thank you I don't even want to mention names that why, guy why, is it last two years when what I, are you mm. talking about ne. So <laughs> if it's that one, don't worry. Tony Stark, sorry, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. is is in a world of. See the difference between him as Tony Stark and him as the dude in Oppenheimer. Yeah, total yeah. total difference. Or do little. <laughs> don't, 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 don't mention do little. You know, I never finished that movie. Ah, uh, try. It's nice. Please think all together. I saw thirty minutes of don't. it. Don't just move, on. move on with your life. Don't go this four years ago. No, it's it's nice. Try it. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> no, no. no. For you to say it in a serious face, like, I will never press play. Oh, it's not cats. Although, there are cats, but what I'm saying is, uh, you will enjoy it. Just never. calm down. <laughs> and uh, this one, they should just back off. I know. A young Sheldon spin-off is in the works and is going to focus on Georgie and Mandy as parents. Who that are you doing? Oh, oh, my God. How, 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 can I talk? No. How is this young Sheldon and you want to focus on, on who be Georgie? Is who? <laughs> because bone picking. Go and rest somewhere. Who are you? Do you know how many cases you have in Nigeria? <laughs> they want to focus on you. Uh, when, so let me let me ask this question. Uh, Apart from Young Sheldon being a successful spin-off, thank you. Mention three other successful spin-offs of comedies. Hey God, I of go. comedies. Yeah, Joey from Friends. No, it was not successful. It was done by the second season. They scrapped. Yeah, it, it was scrapped. Yeah. 
Are you serious? Yeah. Second and the way I enjoyed Joya, I was really thinking they were... Just mention three. It's you. A spin-off of Kai. No, I it can't think. It never works. That's my think point. And yeah. So, you were successful in getting Young Sheldon. People were watching it because I, I mean, I, it was something different. Good. They also now make... And they're the, not ending the Young Sheldon. That's my, yes. my, my, my annoying... End it. I yeah, mean, Young Sheldon is coming Sheldon. Yeah. But... No. Yes. My he's, God, he's, he's still small. He's... He, he, He's, he, is really Baba, go teens. and see, go and go and watch Young Sheldon season one. Season one, and see him now. You'll be like, you yeah. know this That's guy. You know this is don't grow. Yes, I know. Oh. Saying don't grow, but uh, uh, he needs to. Uh, uh, um, okay, I know he's in as at um, season five. He was in college. Blah blah blah. They should tell us more about about what. There are other characters no. that can be interesting. What? <laughs> You are choking. Yeah, choco, like, choco. There are other choco I mean, see, see how old Wallowitz. Chocolate. <laughs> see how, see other, I bet they should just, they should just they calm down. 